time for a story. Our story today is Pumpkin Soup by Helen Cooper. Once upon a time, there were three very good friends who lived together in the woods. There was Squirrel, who lived together with Beaver, and their other good friend, Monkey. Monkey liked to play the banjo. Squirrel liked to play the guitar. And Beaver liked to sing. They liked to make music together and lived a happy little life in their cabin in the woods where at night time they would all sleep together under a blanket that they had made together. They also liked to make pumpkin soup together and they all had their different jobs that they did. Squirrel had a special spoon that she used to stir the soup. Monkey was in charge of chopping up the pumpkin and Beaver always put the salt in the soup, just the right amount of salt to get it just tasting absolutely yummy, 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 yummy. And every night they made their soup together, they made some music, and then they went to bed and had a nice cozy snooze. One morning, Beaver got up a little bit early and he walked into the kitchen and he saw Squirrel's special spoon and he thought to myself, himself, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could be the head chef? But he reached up, got the spoon off the shelf and he brought it to Squirrel and to Monkey and said, I'm going to stir the soup tonight. My turn to stir the pumpkin soup. Squirrel said, no, it's my job to stir the soup. Give me back the spoon. I want the spoon. No, I want the spoon, said Beaver. I want to stir. I never get to stir. You always stir. And they started fighting over the spoon, pulling it this way and that way. And all of a sudden, the spoon went flying through the air and bopped poor Monkey on the head. Ouch, said Monkey. That really hurts. And then there was a kerfuffle and a struggle and a rumpus and a raucous in the cabin in the woods. Fine, said Beaver. Fine. I don't want to be here anymore. You never let me do anything. I'm going to go. Beaver stomped off away, away outside of the cabin, leaving Squirrel and Monkey to clean up the big mess. Fine, said Monkey. We don't need you anyway. You'll be back. But they waited a long time. They didn't see Beaver all day long. Where did Beaver go? I wonder where he went, thought Squirrel. Oh, he'll be back, said Monkey. Don't worry. But they waited a long time. They waited. And breakfast came and went, and lunch came and went, and then it came to soup time. They tried to make the soup, but it just didn't taste right. It tasted too salty. There was far too much salt in that soup. Monkey and Squirrel both got a bit sad and started crying into the soup. <laughs> and their tears made the soup even more salty. I miss Beaver, said Monkey. I miss Beaver too, said Squirrel. Let's go. Let's go look for him. Maybe, maybe he'll come back if we can find him. So they went out into the woods looking, looking for Beaver. But they couldn't see him anywhere. Where did he go? They were a bit scared themselves. And they were scared for Beaver. What about all of the wolves and the witches and the 
bears in the woods. What if they got, what if they got beaver? But they carried on looking. Couldn't see him anywhere. They thought, you know what? Maybe, maybe he's gone and found some other friends. Some friends that let him do the jobs that he wants to do. Maybe you're right, said Monkey. Maybe he's found some better friends. Carried on looking. He thought, maybe, maybe he'll come back. He looked a bit further and then decided that it was time to go home. When Squirrel and Beaver, whoops, when Squirrel and Monkey got home, they could see Beaver was already there. <gasps> Beaver, you're home, they said. I'm home, said Beaver. I want to make some soup. Let's try again. So this time, Squirrel lets Beaver borrow the spoon. And even though Beaver stirred the soup so fast that the soup went everywhere, Monkey and Squirrel let Beaver have a go. And then Beaver showed Monkey how to put in just the right amount of salt to make it taste nice and yummy. So they stirred the soup and they had a tasty meal together. The best, yummiest soup made by friends together. And everything was peaceful in the woods again. Until... them all. Nine night squirrel, nine night beaver, nine night monkey, sleep tight.